Final segment of the first hour of Implicit Bias. Remember, hour two is always more fun. Why? Because we'll be in our second bottle of whiskey at that point, and we will tell you about what's available at the Mr. Lester's version of the Top Secret Podcast Lair as we are in the TSPL located somewhere in downtown Lafayette. But you can go get $10 pours all during the month of November at Mr. Lester's Steakhouse down at Cypress Bayou Casino. So we were talking about in the last segment, our reaction, our expectation, what did we expect to happen versus what actually happened? We got to pretty much everybody. Well, we didn't get to Walker. Doesn't matter. Well, of course, nobody heard Ritter because he, the microphone wasn't on. It didn't too, matter. Yeah, he went too quick, which is something we're all accustomed to, or anybody's accustomed whoa, to, apparently. Whoa. Whoa. How are you whoa, accustomed whoa, whoa. to You're him told, going through that? Yeah, Wait a minute, that, because I was, I, was, like, I, was I, was quick, like, I was quick on the mic to cut down the pledge. <laughs> you're calling me too quick because the pledge, working the board, didn't hit the switch. My fault? I think your brain's going so fast, you didn't realize that Kavan said he's accustomed yes, to you going yes. too fast. That was the problem. Let's go. That was the problem. I just cut myself down trying to take Ritter down. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, it was impressive, folks. <laughs> it was. Okay. Ritter, Ritter, you're moving your hand too fast right now. So <laughs> slow so down. I'm gonna keep my hands on the ball. So Walker, number one, did what happened was that expected by you? Number two, what do you think of the aftermath? Okay. Was it expected? I was yes. Uh, but I was <laughs> nervous when we were here. I don't know. Caleb did see me. Uh, kind of had my hand, my head in my hands. Oh, you were stressing? Yes, because the the votes weren't coming in, and then I saw Pennsylvania had extra trucks, and I was like, "Here we go again." Um, but end up ultimately end up winning. Uh, okay, won so the Senate. Uh, hopefully, we win the House. Looks should, like it should win the House. So yeah. it's a clean sweep because people are fed up with the BS that's been happening for the past four years, which is awesome. Um, what was the other question? Aftermath. The aftermath. Right I think down. was I think it was hilarious. Um, watching people cry and yell at at a screen. I was uh, on my Twitter. Um, don't say it. Don't say it. Just I know. Yeah. I, on Twitter. I was. I, I went comment on people's stuff. Just like they'd be posting stupid stuff like that. I saw Angel Reese said some stupid stuff, and I just put the laughing face with a pointing emoji and put cry more on a ton of people's <laughs> Twitter and. The people would comment back, and I would just do it again and just make them even more mad. Okay, so let's let's. But talk, I thought the aftermath was hilarious. I really do because they deserve it. We're, we're going to talk briefly about that uh, the aftermath in just a second because I'll kind of give you what my expectation was. Actually, I think I gave you what my expectation of the aftermath was on implicit ballots. I actually mm -hmm. said you will see major protests with violence within 24 hours. We saw what Chicago. We yeah. saw a couple others. They weren't as major as we saw the, in in 2019. Before, yeah. But is it the predictable places? It is. Right? Oh, it it's absolutely the, it's was. The predictable towns. It absolutely like it's was. Very predictable. But here's the really fun part, and this is what I wanted to get to with all of this, because there were some people making predictions before the election. Now, there are some people that we spoke to, some people that know me and, have, and we've had conversations. Did we expect a clean sweep and to kind of know? I, we did. We actually came in and, and Walker heard that conversation where I said, I think this is pretty much a clean sweep. I think we're done. I think it's too big to rig. But we'll see because anything can happen. But here's the fun part. There are people who are paid to make these predictions. <laughs> and what we are going to do now is we are going to recap in the final segment of our one of implicit bias, who was the most accurate pollster of 2024. So here's the fun part. This is state forecasting accuracy by organization. Now, this is battleground states only, but let's be honest. Battleground states are the only states that matter what? Don't ask me these questions. I have no clue what it means. Oh, no, I'm not asking anybody. I, okay. I'm in if the same boat. I'm like, if are you're you recapping, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I mean, I'll be asking. You can ask me like, about pollsters. No, I was excited. Have you ever been polled? I've never no. been polled. Who cares? Whoa. But here's who the deal. Cares? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Next question. The best part of this. So anybody remember there was a big shock poll that came out about Iowa? No. Nope. There was a big shock poll right before the election that came out predicting that Harris was going to carry Iowa by double digit points. Yeah, I mean, four to crazy. twelve points. Yeah, yeah. four to twelve I, points. I, I, I saw it. It went by. I did. Okay, cool. I don't care about polls anyway because they ask a select group of people that they think they're looking like they want to ask a question to versus it doesn't matter. Well, Move that on. pollster polls, polls are in my in my view died. That pollster twenty was, years ago. That pollster overall was one of the worst. <laughs> Duh. Shocker. Atlas Intel. Atlas Intel got 100% of the swing states correct. Oh. 
Rasmussen got 86% of the swing states correct. Okay, how what do we call in swing states? How many how many swing Well, the big states? swing is states eight or is it Georgia 12? no, so I'll tell like, you. Like run them through so Georgia, we know. Georgia, Georgia, Pennsylvania, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Arizona, Nevada. That's I mean, those are the big swing states, right? But here's the fun part. You probably know the name Quinnipack. That's a <laughs> major polling outlet. <laughs> Quinnipack only got 40% right. Even better, you probably know CBS. CBS only got 25% of them right. Oh, that's worse than I but, think. But I wait, we all talked about it in the last show, the not under the ballots, but you talked about like who are they talking to? Their core constituents? They're yeah. they're five to seven million viewers. But, but that's not the point. The point isn't the point is they're supposed to talk to a segment that is representative of the electorate because they are making a prediction. But, and that's the point. That, that, that's where you're going, Ritter. Don't take this one away. Let me roll. The point is, the point is, they are not trying to tell you what's actually going to happen. They're trying to tell you what they want to happen by polling only people where they know the responses they're going to get. That's the point. So, well, I mean, that's, you go hunting on fertile ground, right? <laughs> So thank you. They know what they're they know looking for. Look they, for. They know how to make the poll in their favor. So that's what they're doing because they want it to spin a certain way. But Eric Trump, I watched last night on Fox. He was talking about his dad. He received, they're, they're estimating about 95% negative publicity through television. But yeah. the, the CBSs, the ABCs, they're all going to go towards Kamala. Guys, my point, you're making it for me, yeah. right? Well, that's they're supposed, they're yeah. supposed to but be the not. fourth... They're supposed to be the fourth estate. But they're, they're not. They're supposed to tell you. <laughs> We're the, telling you. They're supposed not. to tell you the facts and let make that you make up the decision. Okay, there you go so asking but, for journalists. Right, but here's the here's the thing. So we're on a podcast. News has shifted. Long format interviews, those types of information. Have the conversation. Agree to disagree and have whiskey. Like, oh wait, that's what journalism used to be. You know, like it used to be. Here's the facts. Go home and talk about it across the table with your friends. Y'all decide. Mm -hmm. That's how it used to be. I mean, I remember those days. I am old, as you say. Like, I, I remember those conversations. It was like, you know, the news would come on, and you'd hear Dan Blaber go off, and he's like, here's this, here's this, here's this, this, and boom, 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 boom. And then he'd be like, good night. All right. And go, go, go ahead. Go ahead, Trammell, because we got to do the what would you no, pay no, championship belt just, chain. I, the box is right here. Is <laughs> See, I, I told you that box is like it's nice, but it's like uh, I can't have it's it. Like, oh. It's like the media. You're trying to block me out right here. I'm like, like he's like Kamala. You're trying to block me out with the box right here. I don't have word salad. That's, I just talk the, fast. Look, okay? right there. CBS, ABC, You've right there. Kaban is. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not. I'm getting me. negative publicity. Y'all have both been unburdened okay. by what was. Don't call me. By Kamala. what has been undone. What has been undone. So. All right. So Walker, how much time do we have left here in this segment? So I can gauge this. Three minutes. All right. Let's do this. We're gonna play. What would you pay? So you can put the box back up, okay. and we're gonna show you what you can get at New News. Right here. These two right bottles. These two of. bottles. It's right the here. senator and the representative by Proof and Wood in a Chill. special vote whiskey box yeah. set. So for the chain, Ritter, you got to hold up the chain. You got to shake it so people can hear it. Ah, uh, missed that sound. All right. Caleb, we're going to start with you. <laughs> I don't want to wear it. Son of a gun. Uh, Caleb, we're right. going to start with you. What would you pay for those two bottles in that box? It's got to be. I'm going to use two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. All right. 225. Walker, what would you pay for those two bottles? 200. 200. Let's go to the bar. Who wants to go first? Ritter. Um, I'm going to go 179.99. 179.99. Trammel. You're cheap, so a dollar, Bob, doesn't work. <laughs> I, I'm serious. I, I really, I think y'all are going over on this one. Mm -hmm. It's a combo, y'all. It like, is a combo. It, it, it's, it's a deal. deal. It is. Okay. So one, it, it's a it's a whiskey combo meal. 129, oh. Bob. 129. Y'all ready for this one? Those two bottles? What? No, no, I'm listening. Do you, do you know? No, I don't. <laughs> Eighty nine ninety nine. Shut oh. up! Oh. Are you serious? As a heart attack. Yeah. You As serious? a heart attack. The what would you Holy pay crap. championship like belt chain presented 50. by Box Drop goes to the owner of Box Drop in Lafayette, there Louisiana, Mike Trammell, 
It's a $30 savings over buying the two bottles together. It's a deal, he says. It it's is a, combo. a whiskey so that, combo. That is, that's almost two for one. It, yeah, that is I two mean, for so one. Because I mean, they're like these. $75, yeah. $85 like, dollars a bottle. Like we've hunted these. They're like, yeah, anywhere, 65 depending on what you're looking for. If they've got a lot of dust, you can wheel and deal. 89 bucks for some of them. Um, <laughs> it's a combo, You got two, guys. sir. You, you and here's what I'm retail, gonna tell you, you guys. Combo, you're retail. gonna get a deal. If you're in Lafayette, or if you're trying to get to Lafayette to pick one of these up, if you're coming from New Orleans, from Monroe, from Vidalia, Louisiana, Natchez, Mississippi, one of our affiliates, there aren't too many of these left. And guess what? If you go to New News and you're like, "Hey, I want to put these in a box," it doesn't happen. You had to buy this set from Proof and Wood. Yep. It was a special deal. Yes. Getting ready for the election. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. This is one. going to be one that is gone by the time it airs on, on Terrestrial. Like, Correct. This is, I don't know how many they have. There's probably still some of this in the NOLA area. Uh, maybe. I don't know if you can find it at that price in NOLA, uh, but I mean. You should. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. This is the Lafayette you, price. You should, even if it's a little more, you should find this on the North Shore. You should find it down the bayou. You should find this in Lake Charles. Like, I've traveled yeah. those areas. You'll find it, but woof, they're going to be gone. If you are one of our affiliates that can't find our two of Implicit Bias, find us on our website, www.implicitbiasradio.com. Go to X, go to Facebook, go to YouTube, go to Insta, find us, go to anywhere you find podcasts, download us. You can get our two, and trust me, our two is always more fun on Implicit Bias when we come back.